Glory be to God. Hello everyone and welcome back to Family Life Builders TV where we're rebuilding homes and transforming society. Welcome to today's podcast on the prayer of destiny preservation for our children all around the globe. Today we're praying from 2 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 1 to 20. Alright, we're praying from 1 to 20. So let's let's look at the scripture together and then I'll just read through some of the verses that we'll be using. Then we go ahead and begin to pray. Verse 1 says, and I, you know, the story is about Ammon and Tamar. Uh, it's a very common story. But I just want us to pray as the Holy Spirit will, will lead us in this. Verse 1 says, Absalom, son of David, has had a fair sister whose name was Tamar and Amnon, a half brother. I'm reading from Amplified Bible. Son of David loved her, and Amnon was so troubled that he fell sick for his half sister Tamar, for she was a virgin, and Amnon thought it impossible for him to do anything to her. But Amnon had a friend whose name was Jonadab, the son of Shimea, David's brother, and Jonadab was a very crafty man. He said to Amnon, Why are you the king's son, so lame and weak looking from day to day? Alright, so I'm going to jump to verse 5. Jonadab said to him, Go to bed and pretend you are sick. And when your father David comes to see you, say to him, Let my sister Tamar come and give me food and prepare it in my sight, that I may see it and eat from her hand. Verse 6. So Amnon lay down and pretended to be sick. And when the king came to see him, Amnon said to the king, I pray you, let my sister Tamar come and make cake. Make me a couple of cakes in my sight that I may eat from my hand. All right. So the father actually consents. Verse 7. Then David sent home and told Tamar, go now to your brother Amnon house and prepare food for him. I'm just wondering in that verse, why can't David bring the boy along to the palace and then let let the women in the palace take care of him? Okay, we're coming back to pray on that. Now I'm going to jump to verse six, verse fifteen. Then Amnon hated her exceedingly, that is Tamar, so that his hatred for her was greater than the love with which he had loved her. And Amnon said to her, Get out, get up, and get out. And that was, you know, that was very, very painful. I, I mean, that that's that that's an height of humili- uh, humiliation. Now let's let's look at verse 20. 20. Let's look at it. And Absalom, her brother, said to her, You know, the, the lady went out, she was crying, she tore her robe, she went home and when the brother saw her you know the brother was like okay so the bible says verse 20b so tamar dwelt in her brother absalom's house a desolate woman now absalom did not say anything when david heard he was just angry and he did not do anything i'm just wondering what was going on is it that people don't know what to do when situations arise even even in our world today people don't know what to do people don't know how to do the right thing it's actually it's actually a privilege and great grace for you to know what to do at the right time now verse 23 after two full years absalom had ship ship sharers at balhazo near ephraim and absalom invited all the king's son you see now at this point uh the king does not really want them to go so verse 25b says absalom hugged david he hugged him 
still he will not go but he blessed him all right so let's look at verse 27 because since they could not uh I, I i really don't know why these children are able to manipulate david this way you know now verse 27 says but absalom urged him and he let amnon and all the king's sons go with him verse 28 now absalom commanded his servants notice now when amnon's heart is merry with wine and when i say to you strike amnon then kill him fear not i have not commanded you be courageous and brave so they did so they did so they killed Amnon verse 32 but Jonadab son of Shimea David's brother said let not my lord suppose they have killed all the king's son for Amnon only is dead you see you see the crafty boy he was there again he was the one that says oh the king should not worry you know I know what I did like uh it has happened because uh they, they, they are repaying him for for what i told him to do you see that craftiness i want us to pray i want us to pray and we, we have just five prayer points the first prayer point is in our verse one to two i want us to pray father in the name of jesus pro protect and shield our children against every obsession Protect and shield our children against every obsessive thought. The thought of a man can make him captive. A th the thought of a man can destroy him. And many of us think children don't think. They think. I want us to pray and decree and declare. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray by your mercy, by your grace and your mercy. Let the thought of our children be controlled by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we lift up our voice unto you, Father of heaven. Abba, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that the thought of our children will be controlled by your spirit. The thought of our children will be protected and shielded by your spirit, O God. They will be guided, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, their thought will be spirit controlled. Their thought will be spirit led, O God. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare by your mercy O oh God that the thoughts of our children will be guided by your spirit in the name of Jesus we come against every obsessive thoughts in the name of Jesus we come against every impulsive thoughts in the name of Jesus we decree and declare that the thoughts from heaven that is first pure is released upon the life of our children upon the life of every child all around the world mention the name of your children upon David Ogo I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus your thoughts is controlled your thoughts is spirit led by the blood of Jesus by the Holy Spirit your thoughts is clean in the name of Jesus your thoughts your thoughts they are clean they are pure in the name of Jesus thank you spirit of the living God blessed be thy name O God in Jesus mighty name we pray amen our second prayer point is in verse 2 and 3 i want you to take time and read it again i want us to pray that father in the name of jesus deliver our children from people like jonadab deliver our children from crafty men and women like jonadab in the name of jesus they are everywhere they are among their uncles they are among their friends they are even among friends in the church i want us to decree and declare Father, shield our children from friends like Jonadab in the name of Jesus, from uncles like Jonadab in the name of Jesus, from Heria brothers and sisters like Jonadab. Shield our children, O oh God. Protect them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You know, the Bible is clean and pure. It says we, 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 we should know that 
evil communication corrupt good manners we should understand this even as parents we want i want us to decree and declare oh lord in the name of jesus shield my children oh god from evil communication from evil communicators in the name of jesus from every man and woman like jonadab that could corrupt their thoughts that could corrupt their mind that will corrupt corrupt their character in the name of jesus shield and protect our children oh lord in the name of jesus father protect our children shield them oh lord all around the world oh god shield our children protect them oh lord from people like jonadab in the name of jesus for in jesus mighty name we pray amen our third prayer point verse six and seven well, i want us to pray father give us a discernment spirit because i'm just wondering how david could just you know be releasing this this children how david could just be releasing his children into the hand of the enemy you see quite a number of parents we don't know unconsciously we are releasing these children into the hand of the enemy oh yeah go and spend a uh, mid-term break with my sister with my brother oh go and spend the, the next holiday with my brother and right there and then we have seen it severally these children are raped and they will come back they won't tell you sometimes they learn lesbianism Sometimes that is where they learn gay. Sometimes that is where they learn how to smoke, how to drink. We just release these children into the hand of the lion. I want us to decree and declare. Father, grant me discernment spirit in the name of Jesus. As a father, as a mother, as a guardian, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your spirit of discernment be released upon every parent, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Enough of releasing the children into the hand of the devil enough of releasing children into the hand of evil ones in the name of Jesus father these children are innocent these children don't know anything oh lord they don't know how to go out they don't know how to come in but lord we pray by your mercy you will help us to guide them you will help us to shield them from the hand of the enemy give us the sun and spirit oh god give us the grace to discern every evil even from far away master Oh, thank you, Jesus. I want us to pray. The Holy Spirit is dropping this in my spirit. That every manipulation, that the Lord will open our minds to manipulation, even from any of our children, that the Lord should open our spirit. When children are trying to manipulate, we receive, oh God, a discernment spirit. In the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, the sun man spirit in the name of Jesus against manipulation in the name of Jesus. We refuse to release our children into the hand of the evil ones unconsciously, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We receive the sun man spirit. Every journey that we will send our children into, that we destroy their destiny, we will not send them into it. In the name of Jesus, every places our children will go with our permission that will terminate their destiny, that will terminate their purpose. Father, they will not be there. In the name of Jesus, we will not permit it, O oh God. Your spirit prevail. Masota lebosha ikoshta labaribo suke liga diva suta. Yagadiba Sutelehanda, Rekenderebo Suta Yagadabo Sutelehanda, Rekoto Logorobo Suta Yagadabosa. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We have two more prayer points. Prayer point number four is in verse 15. I want us to pray, Father, shield and protect our daughters from rape and attempted rape and humiliation in the name of Jesus. You see, statistics is saying that one out of five women will experience rape or sexual abuse 
generally one out of five women i want us to decree over our children this thing ought not to be so it is not under our watch because the lord is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we could ask or think i want us to decree and declare because when we call upon him he, has, he always answer because that is why we cry have a father i want us to decree upon our daughters this is too much this is too much a, 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 there was this five-year-old child that was raped recently and uh, they, they were crying for justice because the, the girl actually died this young lady was staying with um like an hansi and the son of the hansi raped this six year old baby girl and at the end of the day this woman did not take this girl to the hospital so the, the the girl was actually bleeding and there was complication and the young girl died <laughs> you know I, I i became emotional when i watched the girl you know the the, the playback of the video how she said I want to be a doctor. Uh, it, it's so painful. It's so painful. A destiny that is minus one doctor in our world. That is minus one person that will save a life. Uh, I want us to decree, brethren, that in the name of Jesus, uh, our children are shielded and protected. Our daughters, I want us to, yes, may, may, boys are also raped. Boys are also raped. I want us to decree and declare, Lord, protect our children. Protect our daughter from rapists to God. In the name of Jesus protect our children lord i cry i cry unto you oh god i cry unto you oh god lord i cry unto you i cry unto you oh god i cry unto you oh god we are on our knees oh god we cry unto you protect our children protect our children from red peace oh god all around the world oh god we cry we cry we cry oh god as mothers oh god as mothers we cry we cry oh god we cry oh god protect our children protect our children from red peace all around the world in the name of jesus we put an end we put an end to rape attack oh god upon our daughters upon our sons all around the world in the name of jesus oh lord we cry we cry unto you we cry unto you god of heaven all the mothers around the world we cry oh god we cry oh god that you shield that you protect our children protect our daughters protect our sons from rapists to god all around the world in the name of jesus thank you father because you always answer glory be to your name oh god in jesus mighty name we pray amen i want us to pray that before it happens the lord should expose them and i want us to decree justice for all those children who have been abused who has been raped let us decree and declare in the name of jesus we decree justice we decree that you expose them any man any man or woman anywhere around the world that is plotting to rape any child from all around the world in the name of jesus father expose them Expose them before the heart. Expose them before the heart. Judge them, oh God. Judge them, oh God. Take your mercy away from them. Take your mercy away from their house. Take your mercy away from them. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, oh God. Let your judgment, let your judgment be released upon them. In the name of Jesus, do not hold back. Let your judgment be released upon them before they do it. Let your judgment be released upon them. In the name of Jesus, shield our children. In the name of Jesus, they you are shielded you are shielded you are surrounded with fire in the name of Jesus all my spiritual children all my nieces and my nephews in the name of Jesus all the children all around the world all the God's children all the children of purpose all around the world you are shielded and preserved from rapists in in the name of Jesus, from any form of attack, in the name of Jesus, thank you, blessed Redeemer. We worship you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the last prayer point is in that same, uh, 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 is in verse, verse 20 now, you know, it is, is in verse 20 now. 
I want us to pray. Father, protect our girls. You, 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 you know, when, when, the, when, when, when Tamar went home to have Salome's house, you know, he was there. And the Bible said he was desolate. He was desolate. <laughs> What could, what could be more painful? Hmm? You became a desolate woman. You see, there are so many women all around the world today. As a matter of fact, some of them even get married, but they are desolate. That's why you see them. They are the angry mothers. Many of them are the angry mothers. Many of them are the wicked and mean mothers. Many of them are the women that even sleep with their own sons. They are mentally desolate. They are not only physically desolate, they are spiritually desolate. They are mentally desolate. There are many of them all around the world. <laughs> there was this very young lady. She, she, because in, 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 in counseling generally, hardly will you see anybody that molested a child that has not been molested as a child as well. Hardly will you see. Hardly will you see that. This is, this is, this is real. This is real. I want us to pray. I want us to pray for these children. Mental desolation. There's this young woman who actually made an 11-year-old son, an 11-year-old boy that he was supposed to be taken care of. She was a nanny to this young boy. And this woman, this, this woman was, uh, was abusing this boy. And he called, she called it play. Or play. And this 11-year-old boy now has a six-year-old son. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Father, protect our girls from mental, physical, and social desolation. In the name of Jesus, every child all around the world, oh God, that have ever experienced sexual abuse in any form, we speak your healing. In the name of Jesus, take them out of desolation. In the name of Jesus, they are people of destiny. We speak for your mercy all around the world. Of God. Every child, every mother, every woman who have experienced sexual abuse of any form of God, we speak healing. In the name of Jesus, we speak mercy. We speak healing. Take them out of desolation. Let them meet with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let healing take place. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate you, blessed Redeemer. We give you all the glory. We honor you, our God. Blessed be the name of God. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you so much for joining me again. I really, really want to say a big thank you. I know and I know that when we call upon him, this is the confidence we have in him that he always hears us. Today we have called upon him again and he will hear us from his holy hill. In the name of Jesus, we will experience testimony. We will experience testimony answer to this prayer all around the world in the name of Jesus. All right. Thank you so much. My name is Tosi Okoluwa. So like, come your way again. Keep becoming a better you because things actually work when we work it, especially in the, in the place of prayer. God bless you and I will see you next time. Bye for now.